We're Angela and Alan. We've taken a sabbatical and are travelling around the world with no plan and a small budget. We worked and saved hard for this, so we're trying to make our money go as far as possible while still having meaningful experiences. We may be middle-aged, but that doesn't mean we're past it, so join us as we go to new countries, eat new foods and enjoy life as much as possible. If we can do it, you can. Good morning from Rush Hour Kyoto, where we are currently waiting for a bus to take us to the bullet train to do a 600km round trip to somewhere quite significant. We're now in a very busy Kyoto station trying to find which platform we need for the bullet train. Um, what's happened is Alan's put the bullet train online. We both have these what are called IC cards. They're like the British equivalent, London equivalent of an IC card. You load them up with cash and then you can pay for the bus and the train and the metro. Um, but these ones you can also use in shops and what we've done is bought the Shinkansen ticket online um, and then Alan has linked it to our IC card so that we can just swipe to go in. When we caught the bullet train from Tokyo here, we didn't have the IC cards and what we did was download QR codes to my phone so I had to swipe us both through. But by having this card, the IC card, we can have our tickets separately, which is why we've done it in that way today. So what we're looking for is the train to Hiroshima. It's train Nozomi 13. We're going to be in car 4 and then I'm C11V by the looks of it. Um, so that's what we're looking for. Up there. <laughs> So what have we got here? I have bought a bento from the station, which is like a little packed lunch. And if I can get into it, this one's chicken and rice. I'm starving. I wanted to eat it on the train, but there's all this etiquette and stuff. Japanese people do eat in the street, by the way. That's a myth. Um, but I didn't want to eat in an enclosed space. I didn't think that was fair. So, I have got omelette, chicken, 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 I'm guessing chicken, some veggies, and then there's another whole layer of rice. Yeah. It's really nice. It's, it's real food rather than, I don't know, um, processed chicken. It's proper rice, uh, proper roast chicken, 
proper piece of chicken, breadcrumbs, nice bit of omelette. You can see chunks of chicken in the chicken rice, plain rice as well. Uh, the vegetables are really fresh and crisp, even though they're cooked. They're fresh and crisp. Yeah, it's lovely. How much was this? It was 1100 yen, so what's that? That is about seven pounds, mm. maybe. So in the UK, for about four or five pounds, you'd get a meal deal. Mm. This doesn't come with a drink. Pay your money, take your choice. I think it's very nice. There's two lots of rice, there's egg, all sorts of different chicken, and it's tasty chicken. So I'm not sure what they've done to it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, all the vegetables were very nice. I think sweet. Mm. Yeah, it was tasty, wasn't it? Yeah, very really nice. Like this bit of egg. You like the omelette? I like the omelette. It had a sweetness to it for some yeah. reason. Yeah, it's good. And two, you get two layers. So, yeah, only about seven pounds and fed the two of us for lunch. What's in your hands? Jackie. Lunch, which we had an hour ago. Now, we have been looking for a rubbish bin to put our rubbish into because we don't want to litter and there's enough signs everywhere saying don't litter, fair enough. But at the same time, there are no bins to put your rubbish. How long has it taken us to find it? An hour. So the building here that you can see behind us, that's the Hiroshima Atomic Zone. I can't even say it. Atomic Bomb Dome. Thank you. Um, in 1945, August 6th, America dropped an atomic bomb here, 160 metres from that dome, sort of just behind my head actually, um, which exploded and everything was devastated for Two miles, no, two kilometres. Two kilometres. 200,000 200, people died. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's quite a sobering thought.
Hiroshima Memorial Museum. Yeah, Hiroshima so, Peace Memorial Museum. Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, and needless to say, it was very sad and depressing. Yeah, for obvious reasons, we haven't filmed anything in there. Well, just the one little animation. Um, yeah, what's the word for that? You used the word sobering before. Depressing? Depressing. 